All right, so we might have been slacking a little bit, just just a little bit when it comes to these career mode videos with Aurora Monroe, but, but we're going to fix that. We're going to correct that. As you guys can see right there, I've got a brand new contract, and uh, these are my contract goals. I have to break into the top 15. I have to beat my rival, which, of course, is Mr. Herrig. I mean, Mrs. Herrig. Miss Herrig. I can't talk today. And of course, the optional goals is to gain popularity and get at least one fight to high hype. So, let's jump right into this thing. Let's look at the fight offer. Let's see who we are facing next. Hopefully, it's time to start facing some actual UFC fighters. Uh, it doesn't look like we're facing UFC fighters yet. So, let's look at who has the best record out of all of these girls. And then we're going to face them. So, she's got 14 and 1. 11 and 4, 8 and 1. We're going to go with the 14 and 1. We're going to go with her. Let's jump right into the octagon and see how well we do. Now, in the last video, in the in the last career mode, I was asking you guys if you're not sure you want me to keep grappling with these girls because it seems I'm submitting these girls a lot easier than uh, than you would think. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working our box in a little bit. Just so that we can stand and strike a little bit. I mean, it is the legendary mode and we want to try to make things more, more difficult. More difficult equals more entertainment value for you guys. So, I'm going to start working my boxing more than I've been working my boxing. Just to make sure I've got hands. And then, I'm still going to, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely still going to be a grappler. If the fight starts getting difficult, you better believe I'm taking that thing to the ground. And trying to finish them on the ground. But... Nothing says that we can't kind of play like Daniel Cormier. You know how DC, he doesn't just immediately start shooting for takedowns. You know, he starts things off by, you know, feeling you out on the feet, throwing a few leg kicks here and there, throwing a few boxing combos. And then when he sees an opportunity, he gets the fight to the ground. Look at this girl That's what I want ripping me with, with, with body kicks right away. Careful with those body kicks, girl. She loves the body kick and beautiful uppercut right there. I don't have any range on these shots yet. Great block. Look at her shooting for takedowns. You had the position. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm staying on top of her. Good sparring. Good sparring. Did not take a lot of damage. Did not do a lot of damage. We just kind of felt each other. Just felt what each other had to offer. And then we moved on. Okay, your opponent has no clue on how to defend against Kimuras. Let's go for one. You better believe it. You better believe it. We're going to strike with her a little bit, take her down, and go for a Kimura. Try to get her out, out of there with a the Kimura. Let's go ahead and train some more accuracy. Let's start Let's start working that boxing. Start getting that boxing up. Especially my footwork. I want to be able to cover distance. That's one of my favorite things to do. And right now, it does not look like I can cover distance. Let's see. Strike stamina. Where's my footwork? There's my footwork and head movement. Lost points in blocking. But we're not too worried about that. We're not too worried about that because we don't really intend on standing with her for too long. So I don't mind losing points on blocking. Let's train. I'm not going to worry about promoting right now. Like I said in the last video, I'm going to kind of focus on promoting the fight. When I get into the, you know, when I start actually facing some UFC fighters. So for now, we ain't worrying about promoting. Keep working that footwork. Minus two in endurance. Uh, let's see. Bottom game. Let's work that bottom game. Takedown defense. Then, I mean, then, then again, do I really want to work my takedown defense? Do I really need to work takedown defense? I'm... 
I'm basically a jujitsu fighter. Don't I want to be taken down? Uh, my chin is about 89, almost a 90 at this point. Let's see. Do I want to risk getting injured some more to work on footwork? Yeah, I guess I do. Mm. Okay. I don't want to risk getting overtrained and not having enough points to actually do an ice bath or something. So I'm going to go ahead and do that ice bath right here. And time for the fight. Fight height very low. We don't care about that. Let's just jump into the fight. Remember, the opponent does not know how to defend against Kimuras. So we're going to be exploiting that the first chance I get. Aurora Monroe is the UFC's latest crossover sensation. Uh, if social media reaction is to be believed, Aurora Monroe is not just a hot prospect in the strawweight division, but a legitimate MMA sensation. Yes. Yes, she is. Here we go, baby. This fighter is, is going to want to keep her distance. I hope. There we go, already keeping her distance. And she's going through body kicks, we know that. Yeah. You know what, I'm not gonna catch those body kicks. That would make things way too easy. I'm just gonna let her blast the body kicks. All right. She's gonna throw it again. Yeah, figured. Man, I mean, this is... I don't know. I don't know if I should let her keep landing these. She's starting to disrespect me a little bit. She's starting to disrespect this. <laughs> Welcome, baby. Welcome to the ground game. Here we go. Oh my God. That is just crazy. It's enough, Aurora. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her live to fight another day, baby. Let her live to fight another day. We got her out of there with the Kimura. That was, that was just like slow as heck it's crazy i'm getting all these fight tips like actual very specific fight tips like do this go for this your opponent won't be able to defend that do that when i'm while playing in legendary as opposed to when i was playing in pro i was kind of getting you know the generic uh, fight tips you know like watch out for the i was i was mostly getting the watch out for the opponent's spinning back fist Watch out for the opponent's heel kick or whatever, but then the opponent actually never does it in the fight. But this time, they're actually telling me what to go for, like what the opponent is not good at. And I find that very interesting. You know? Okay. The storm proved to be the real deal tonight. Can't wait to see what's next. Yes, win, move forward, repeat. That is my motto. Win move forward rinse and repeat i do want to make sure that i am good enough to face uh to face my opponent my rival here because i don't know i'm kind of a jack of all trade at this point i'm not really that exceptional at, at anything well except submissions my submission stats are pretty high uh let's see 10 and 3 12 and 3 9 no 11 and 4 we're gonna go with the 12 and 3 Plus, she's a striker. Looks to be a pretty good one. I'm gonna go ahead and face her. Uh, schedule camp. We wanna keep this unboxing. I mean, we are, we've we've made quite a bit of money so far. I could 
pay for a brand new gym at this point. Mm. Let's do some boxing. Let's do some let's do some boxing here. We're going we're going to do 5 weeks of training. Uh, once I'm done with training, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, people, here we go. Here we go. Now with this opponent, they want me to watch out for her striking from long range. So, if I'm going to be in, you know, at, oh my gosh, she just fake glove touched me. Did you, did you guys see that? She fainted that she was going to touch my gloves. Oh my god. Rock me with an uppercut as I was going for a takedown. Okay then. No longer playing with this girl. Not playing with this girl. I hope she goes to sleep. Put her to sleep. There we go. Eyes wide open, good. How dare you fake glove touch me? How dare you do that? How dare you do that? By the way, I thought my celebration was Robbie Lawler. I don't, I don't understand what's going on. I mean, I definitely chose Robbie Lawler. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to contest. She's got pretty eyes, though. Probably lowered my longevity with that uppercut she landed. That cheap shot she landed. But it's okay. It's okay. We gained quite a bit of popularity. Okay, it's time to go back to my wrestling gym. What I want to do right now is try to learn some more wrestling moves. I want to learn some wrestling reversals. Hopefully learn some more Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu reversals. Maybe get a few more takedowns under my belt. Let's do that. Make sure that I have all the wrestling weapons. Cause I just tried to shoot an I just tried to shoot a double leg and I didn't think I had a double leg takedown. So I gotta get a double leg because a single leg is a lot shorter. And it makes sense that a single leg is shorter because the single leg puts puts you in half guard while the double gets you in, in guard. So I had to find a way to balance the moves out. So we're going to go ahead and find out who we're facing next. Who is it? 14 and 4, 13 and 2. We're going we're going to go with the 14 and 4. And we are going to go to a wrestling gym, learn some wrestling. Let's go ahead and schedule the camp right there. Uh, this is a boxer. My rival is in this gym, so I can't purchase this gym right now. That's okay. That's that's fine. We're going to go right here. We're going to go to this wrestling gym and see what we can learn. Three weeks of training. Okay, once I'm done, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Here we go. I believe after this fight, I'm going to face my rival. That's what I believe. But let's go ahead and do this. Look at how small these girls are. Oh my goodness. Nice uppercuts on her. Mm. 
She shot for a takedown. Are you serious? Why would you do that? <laughs> get her get her to back sitting <laughs> let's go let's go it's a warning I want you to get a wind, windshield wiper. That's what I want right now. So we're going to go north-south. See if we can get it. Oh, I don't even have the submission. Why don't we go for a Japanese necktie again? Let it go. Let it go. Okay. There we go. There we go. That one's done. That one's done. I don't know why she took me down. I didn't ask for it. But I welcome it, though. I welcome it. We are just advancing through the career so quickly. We are just moving fast. Longevity still high. That's perks of being a grappler. Perks of being a grappler. You can stay safe. You don't have to get punched in the face. You don't have to get kicked in the stomach. You don't have to get kicked in the shin. I mean, in the in the legs. You don't have to kick anyone with your legs and damage your shin. You don't have to worry about busting up your knuckles and all that stuff. You can kind of just take people down and lay on them. You can kind of just do that. Okay. Tell me the next fight is against the rival. Is that what it is? Kind of looking like it. Kind of looking like it. Let's see. Here we go. Come on, baby. Yes. Yes. 17 and 6. 11 and 0. Oh. She has got some amazing stats, though. Look at that. St striking 87. Grappling, I'm, I'm a better grappler. Stamina, 89. Health, 89. So this is not going to be an easy fight. It, it's definitely not, not looking like it's going to be an easy fight. But I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible. Um, we're really not going to mess with striking too much. But we are going to mess with grappling. We're definitely going to mess with that. So let's go ahead and go to jujitsu. Let's go to the jujitsu gym. And I'm gonna see what I can learn. That's that's what I'm kind of mostly interested in. Now you'll see who the queen is. Yeah, whatever. Just another fight. Nothing special there. Just another fight. Let's see. Uh, of course we have to spar first. We gotta spar, and I'm gonna show the whole entire training session. Let's go ahead and spar, just to get an idea of what to expect. Hopefully she's mostly a grappler. She's throwing head kicks. There we go. She took me down. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, those gates are moving fast. Those gates are... F Speed on her.
Good takedowns on her. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be a high-paced fight. That's the one thing I'm going to have to deal with. It's going to be a high-paced fight. I have to be very careful with my stamina. I have to be very careful that I'm not getting... Watch out in the first two minutes of each round. Your opponent will be very aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be high-paced. She's going to be throwing a lot of combos. Just got to make sure that I'm not getting rocked with those combos. And once we take her down, getting the submission this time around, I suspect, is going to be more difficult. But of course, look at my bottom game. 100. We are good to go when it comes to grappling. Yeah. We are good to go when it comes to grappling. Top game, 100. Bottom game, 100. Submission defense, pretty good. Let's see what I can learn here. Let's see what I can learn. Uh, outside trip, rolling knee bar, BJJ get-ups, guillotine level 2, anaconda level 1. You know what? Let's learn, let's, let's learn the, 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 the level 2 guillotine. I want that. Because I suspect I'm going to be in, in guard at now. least Step once. Let's hold full guard. Oh, come on. I can't believe I screwed that up. That's the way. Keep it up. That's not the way. That's not the way. We have to redo that. We have to redo it. Okay. Don't let's let let's hold up. it. That's how you dominate on the ground. Here we That's go. We're gonna win this fight. That was a dumb mistake. I, I mean, I, I make mistakes like that all the time. It's like I see where the where the opponent is trying to go, and I just kind of just, just just screw it up. Okay, so guard specialist level one, tap already level one. Let's apply the moves first. Go to submission. Guillotine level two. That's beautiful from guard right there. Uh, apply perks. Mm. Improves the speed of transitions in guard. Dude, my guard is about to be completely bonkers. See, fitness. Improves efficiency of attempting submissions. You better believe it. Here we go. Here we go. I think I'm ready. I think I am ready to take on Felice. Or Phyllis. I don't know. How do you say her name? I have no clue how to say that name. None. Let's train. What can we train here? Clinch grapple. Uh, Takedowns. Accuracy, head movement, toughness. Okay, so my toughness definitely needs to be worked on. That's the one thing that I've kind of neglected. And I do not want to neglect my toughness just in case I take a beat in. I want to make sure that I can I can take it, you know? We don't want to be the stereotypical soft grappler. We don't want that. Uh, where is that? Where's toughness? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, let's just work on this category for now. My chin's pretty good, though. I'm quite proud of my chin. I haven't even promoted this fight at all. Which, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Uh... Yeah, why not? Popularity. Fight hype. Right there. Uh, let's see. Right there. Medium. Whatever. Whatever. Let's do it. I hope you guys are ready for this. I hope you are ready for this. It's about to go down. It's about to go down.
<laughs> Look at these beautiful tweets. Are we going to get a UFC minute? Is that what's next right now? I think so. To become a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs no. someone to push her to be great. McGregor had Diaz. Jones had Cormier. And Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest? Or give up bragging rights once and for all? I like how they were just fighting a second ago, and then when it was time for the weigh-ins, they weigh in and shake hands. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're not watching it. We're not watching the the whole entrance. Let's go ahead and fight. Let's go ahead and fight. Come on, baby. Let's do it. We're not touching gloves, huh? Welcome. Was wondering when that would happen. Let's just let's just grapple a little bit. Let's just grapple a little bit. I could have gone for a submission, but I hate this camera angle right here. Get me out of that camera angle, baby. This is what we trained for. This is what we train for, holding the guard. See, it's a half guard right away. Welcome back to guard. All right, she got reversed right there. Let's get her back to half guard. There's top mount right there. Okay. Get the side saddle, try to hold that. Kind of want to get back to, um, kind of want to get back to guard so I can try to use. to get back to guard so that I can use my guillotine guillotine okay let's work the anaconda a little bit see if we can get it no we were not able to get the anaconda uh, she goes for that transition okay All right, round number two. Let's let's see if we can end this fight in the second round. Let's get her out of here. Oh my goodness, she goes for it. Yeah, if she goes for a takedown again, I'll let her get it. All right, let's make our way back to. Oh, <laughs> that 
Damn. I'm not doing what I said I'm going to do. I want her to put me in guard. She got it. She's she's dropped. Okay, let's make our way back to let's make our way back to full guard. Guillotine. Damn. The submissions, uh, especially with her. Go for it again. Oh. I didn't click the bloop. Let's go for it one more time. One more time. Okay, I'm going to get this submission in the next round. One more round to go, baby. One more round to go. One more round to go. Interesting that I'm the one that hurt her on the feet. Okay, here we go. I think my stamina is low now. Yeah, my stamina is low. Go for an arm triangle. That is fast. That is quick. Why do I keep messing this up? That was okay. I think the chokes, the chokes. Let's get the side control. We got it. We got man. We, we got to get back. We got to get back and try to get that choke. You gotta get back and try to get that choke. Come on. Oh my 
goodness. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get a submission this time around. <laughs> I don't know what my stamina is. I really don't. Okay. That was kind of a shitty fight. That was kind of a crappy fight. That's not the way I wanted that fight to go. Not the way I wanted that fight to go at all. But I believe I did enough to win. Let's see. Did my game just freeze? Alright, hold on a sec. Let's see who won. All three judges score this contest. 30 27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision. Hurricane. Here we go. Three round of war, basically. Took a lot of damage. We don't want that happening. We definitely do not want that happening. Okay, see, I, yeah, we, we don't we don't want we don't want to be taking this kind of damage in fights. But that is it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about the episode. Hold on a sec. Let's see if my contract has improved. Let's take a look at that contract. Come on, baby. I hope it has improved. Let's advance. Yes, I've earned a brand new contract, people. Break into the top five. That is the new goal. 27,000 to show, 30,000 to win. Let's go ahead and sign that. Rose Nama Yunez is the new rival. I'm still going to be nice to all of them. We are not fighting these girls, but that is it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Keep yourself safe and have a wonderful day.